You can see it's <laughs> dead center now. Almost, only one hundredth of a millimeters, or not even that. Hello guys, and very welcome to this video update and this project on my Volkswagen Golf City Streamer. So, uh, it's been a while since I've posted any video on it, and uh, the reason is, well, it's a lot of reason, but one of the reasons is that I have been working pretty long with this part here, which now is finally finished. And then I also have a lot of other stuff that I am uh, allowed to do, so I don't have more time than you guys. <laughs> so, however, I am going to show you guys what I have come up with here and um, hope everything is going. So, to start with, if you are new to this channel, this is an all-electric car from Volkswagen and uh, this is from 1991 and they produced 70 cars between 83 to 93 and this is one of those. But sadly, the motor and the speed controller has been changed, I think maybe 15 years ago or something. So, it's not original and that's also the reason why I am doing this. So I will try to have the old feeling in this car when I am finished with this project. And what I mean with that is that I plan to use the original gearbox, the original clutch and everything like that. So it is pretty much how it was when it left the factory once in its life. So let's go into the garage and uh, take a look at the motor and the other stuff that I have been working on here. So here we go guys and as always very welcome. So here we have my project and you're looking at a Nissan Leaf motor and then we have the inverter on top of that one and then we have the charger highest up here. And I have used, uh, I decided to go with the Resolve EV controller. So this talks with the inverter, the charger, and then also the BMS that are laying over there. So all the parts here are coming from, uh, from an, a Nissan Leaf. And that's also the important thing here because this Resolve EV controller only talks with Nissan stuff here. So it's important. But if you look over here, you can see that I actually have eight modules that are coming from a Volkswagen ID3. So I have soldered all of those balance leads into this Nissan Leaf BMS here. And I'm not really sure how this will be in the end because this BMS here are a 40 kilowatt hour BMS and the rest of the battery pack here are now up to a bit over 55 kilowatt hours. So I have to see how this BMS uh, handle that. Maybe it will go into some fail safe when uh, it feels that the kilowatt hours has reached the maximum value there. I don't know. I just have to find it out later on. Or actually just test it <laughs> to see what will happen. And I think that Nissan Leaf guys call this brute force or something like that. So, but anyway, those cells are so much better than the original cells that are in those smaller batteries. But I don't know how those 40 kilowatt hours batteries are in Nissan Leaf. I think they are better. I don't know. But uh, however, those cells, by the way, are coming or modules are coming from that battery that you were looking at uh, in that video when I showed you the cooling system of uh, and Volkswagen ID3 there. So that was a really bad crashed battery and uh, here are those modules that I took out from that battery pack. So those batteries have has been tested now for a while, so they will not be dangerous in any way. <laughs> but you never know with batteries. But anyway, they have been laying here now for um, a little over two months. So I think I can be safe and trust them. All right, so this is what I've been working on lately. This coupler here. Cooper, I don't really know if you call it that, but I think so. So this is apart from this crankshaft here. So this has been sitting like this. Uh, 
and uh, now it is holding the input shaft from Nissan Leaf gearbox. So uh, it is pressed into this center of the, this crankshaft. You can see that we have some glue here. It is a press fitting, of course, but also a very hard Loctite here. So it won't slip inside of it. So it will fit on this axle like this. And you can see that we have some play here that I don't like at all. People say that this is a high precision, very good fit and everything, but uh, hey, it's not like that at all. This is pretty much rattling around on these splines here. So I don't like that at all. And uh, I have now drilled this axle here and also thread it with uh, eight millimeters threading. So this bolt will fit into the center of the axle here. And the plan is that I will now glue everything here with very strong Loctite. And then install this and firmly tighten this bolt like so. Or of course tighten it pretty hard. Not too hard in the beginning because then I will find the perfect center with this uh, clock here and hopefully it will stay like that when I am going to put some loads on this coupler here. So I'm not sure if this is going to work but I really have to try and this is also the best that I could come up with right now because um, I really love to have this car as original as it was when it left the factory there so this flywheel will be installed to this but I will try to get rid of all the weight or all the unnecessary weight on this flywheel uh, so I don't have that mass because I don't need that mass on this setup so it's completely unnecessary so I will make this flywheel as light as possible and then I maybe have to balance everything, but that will be later on. So I will just try to tighten this and then we can start everything up here. I really need some oil on this rubber O-ring on the back side. So there is an o-ring here and uh, it's pretty dry because I have cleaned it. That's better. Let's try. And it is on those blinds here that I will have that strong Loctite later on. But for now, I will just try to find the center, if that's possible. So you can see that we are pretty flushed into this surface here. Just tighten it pretty easy, not too hard to begin with. And then I will turn on the ignition. And I will of course connect the high voltage battery first. This is nothing to play with. I can promise you that. Like so. So I will turn on the ignition again. drive nice it's working now I just will try to find the center plane here you can see it's <laughs> dead center now almost only one 
hundreds of a millimeters or not even that that's just fantastic and we also have to see if we have a good number here in this direction four hundreds of a millimeter that's not too bad so now I will try to find the highest point There we are, pretty good. We are down to, uh, let's say, two hundredths of a millimeter. So it's it's at least possible to have this done. I think that this is probably the closest I can get here. So I just will show you guys how bad it can be. So when it's completely out of center, it is like this. So now we are up to 15 hundredths of a millimeter. That's way too much. Let's take a look at the other plane here. So this is not okay at all. But as you did see, I think that uh, I can find the center and uh, with a very strong glue inside of those blinds or Loctite. I can have this to work. I hope so anyway. So that's the plan for this weekend or for the next week. So now I just have to make everything as straight as I can here and glue everything together. And hopefully this will never come off again. That's the plan anyway. So uh, when this is finished, I will keep on going with those wooden plates that I have here. So um, this one or this side will fit on the motor side and the other one is the gearbox side. I will then make an uh, adapter plate. You can see this aluminium plate here. This will be my adapter plate later on. So I have now marked the gearbox side here. And then we have the holes that will be drilled so I can bolt those, uh, so I can bolt this plate into the motor. And I will create some distant pipes. So I, uh, instead of making a very thick plate, I will only have this 10 millimeter plate and I think uh, around uh, 25 millimeters of distance pipes between this plate and the motor here. And then I will weld some kind of cover between this plate and the motor. That's the plan anyway. So, yeah, I know it looks pretty messy, but uh, that's how it is <laughs> anyway. So, that was everything guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.